<laughs> Yo, what's up, ladies? Oh my god, no. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Well, uh, Arena Respawn was going live, and uh, well, my game just crashed, so hang in there. Wah, wah, wah. But, uh, whoa, there we go. We're gonna get going here in just a second. Hopefully, my uh, TF2 won't be a problem here, and we'll be, just be able to jump back into that server. Hopefully, it wasn't the server that crashed. Uh, hopefully, it was just us. Um, so, give me just a hot second, but we're gonna get into some arena respawn featuring some teams from the pro battle league it's an organization i've been working with that's uh well getting uh, local teams together and trying to build regional rivalries we're gonna have a tournament coming up uh between the seattle region and portland it's gonna be a lot of fun um our teams here are kind of you know maybe slightly portland slightly slightly seattle uh we're also so 5v5 arena respawn class limit one uh, it's like arena, but if you capture the point, uh, your your team does respawn. Um, okay, looks like they didn't ready up, uh, but probably will be readying up again soon. Let's get back into the game here. Uh, so also uh, to talk about this and how this is going to work here, um, how we're going to do this for 20 minutes, and it's um, you know most round wins wins. Uh, there's a seven minute mercy rule difference that hopefully we will not hit. The point of Arena Respawn is to get a lot of maps in to, to play, uh, you know, play several maps. Uh, we're always going to do at least like BO3s with this series. And as part of this as well, we want things to be fresh every single game. So uh, there have some, been some bands involved. The bands are Medic and Scout. Each team got to ban a class. I'm actually not sure uh, which, uh, which team banned the Medic, which team banned the Scout. But otherwise, it will be one of each. Oh, God. Let's do There we go. No no plugins? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I guess I might have launched the wrong game mode. Either way here, uh, we're going to be live here. And uh, this is well. And there's not going to be any health packs on the sides here. You know, this is uh, the arena well. Very tight. Going to definitely be interesting to see how teams adapt to this. The lineups here, we got heavy on both sides. Uh, right now, way, it looks like red team down to three players. This is probably going to be a lost round for him. Pete the Plumber's going to have to come in here. And uh, MK actually gets some players respawned there. So uh, Pete the Plumber's got to get out there to uh, cause some havoc. See the uh, mark for death as uh, players are standing on the point. And uh, some of these game mechanics still might change a little bit. Adjust. Oh, Pete the Plumber hitting a big pipe there. Yep, connecting those pipes like a plumber. Um, some of these mechanics still might change a little bit. Still adjusting them, uh, like the mark for death or, or the times that are on that. Uh, but definitely, uh, how this arena respawn works, we're going to have a lot of quick rounds here. Dane here on the demo man is definitely a feared demo man. It's going to be one to watch out for. With no medics here, things are going to be tight. The, uh, taking a little bit of spam is going to be make a big difference here. Any damage done towards Dane uh, is going to have a lot of impact until this dispenser can get going on. Oh, the heavy barely gets kept alive. Let's see if he can get his sandwich eaten up or if he maybe throws it out to, to Dane. Uh, Red Team does not have an engineer. They are around the point, and they did capture it early. It actually, there's a bit of a downside to capture it early, but also, I guess, on the flip, uh, with that point ticking away, uh, you can double capture it. So uh, the blue team does have to make a move here sometime within the next 20 seconds. Otherwise, red will just recapture that point and it will be no problem. See what some of those guys are doing. Cappy going to snipe. Deadly Deadite pretty banged up. Blue Jeans pretty banged up. Kind of backed up out of this. And uh, I don't know if they know about the uh, double cap or if they're thinking about it. Captain Cool looking for a snipe across the way. Blue Jeans goes down. Deadly Deadite did get to eat his sandwich. The cap is open again. Blue is running out there. Dane gets sniped down. And these players definitely red team could get out here could just get on the cap pyro gets old oh, melon going for the shotgun is gonna get it is gonna get the capture is gonna get the respawn and etni knd well nothing gonna happen now goes down gets melon lord and uh revives there for the blue team so it is looks like seattle is a red team here mk rj is actually from San Jose area. I'm not sure where Melon is from or Sage, to be honest. 
but uh, represented for Seattle tonight. It uh, was Pythium over on red team, uh, but uh, not sure what region those guys are representing per se. Looking for more players, and uh, we're definitely planning on having more uh, tournaments and fo focused events for Pro Battle League and the stuff that we got going on with that. Red team captures the point early, which is, again, you know, something you don't necessarily want to do here. As uh, you can't get a respawn if you already control the point. Melon Lord hanging out behind uh, Etni. Oh no, hits himself with that black box. He's going to have to deal with this mini sentry here. Demo Man's out here. Uh oh, does get the mini sentry, but no help for it. It's taken down Melon Lord. Going to go out here for the capture. They will get it. That just respawns to Sage. And uh, Bujin's just going to have to get out of the point. Oh, oh no, goes for the flare shot. I don't think quite got it, but uh, you got to get the capture if, you're, if the, you're the last one standing. It comes down to the capture. So, 3-0, Medic and Scout banned once again in this Arena Respawn 5v5 format. Sage going up, uh, switching it up to Spy this time. Captain Cool on Engineer once again. Etni running this black box, trying to get the health back. I mean, he's been surviving in these rounds, but needs to have an impact here. See if he can get a kill here. Does get Sarcasm early. That's going to be helpful. We'll leave the uh, dispenser nice and vulnerable. Etni jumps away. Looking for some heals from his dispenser. Blue team a little bit banged up here. MK, big snipe across. As Sage gets a double backstab, I whiff that on the camera. Dane revives two players. Oh, no. Blue Jeans tries to get out there for a, a respawn of his own. Not going to happen. Pete the Plumber is going to have to get out here and make some magic happen. Oh, I see where he is. He's going to back up. Dane takes a little bit of spam here. Etni, some work done here. Oh, wow. I don't know why rockets aren't showing up or Etni's not even getting any damage done there. Oh, the double trade kill. If they can get on the point here, if they can clear it off and get the respawn. Oh, my God. They respawn their players. The double trade kill. This is madness, ladies and gentlemen. Madness. Melon Lord needs to get on the point. Runs away from it. It's going to come down to RJ here. RJ can get some snipes. They know where he is now. There is the mini sentry still out here. Oh. Oh, big snipe on Captain Cool. Oh, here comes the heavy, though. In his face. He tries to surf around. Cannot. That was a good round. With Red Team <laughs> getting some revives. Train MVP. And uh, we have some switch up over on uh, Blue Team. Melon Lord on the Pyro still here. Sage on Soldier. MK on Snipes. Oh, Snipe Battle down the side of the trains here. This is Pete the Plumber for Red Team here. Snipe can be definitely be devastating in this no medic that we have going today. There's a Snipe on Sage across. 3 1 is the right round score here. Dane getting chipped away down to 15. Needs to find that dispenser, which is just going up now. Widowmaker is a little bit dangerous, but there is plenty of ammo on the map. Just not much metal. Not sure what's happening with Sarcasm. Okay, there we go. He picks up that uh, metal. Happy Cool trying to set up with uh, a sentry gun, but no. Not going to be able to do so. Blue Jeans getting out there. Taken out. <clears throat> just going to be Deadly Deadite. Needs to get this captured on the point. Oh, he's going to do it. They can't stop him. Pyro needed to get out there. That's going to get the respawn. That's a big play there by Deadly Deadite. Just getting out there. That's what you have to do. You have to commit to the capture. Dang, getting the capture and the respawns. Deadly Deadite, can he do it again? Oh, nobody's here for blue. Look at this. Wow, what are they doing? Got to protect the point. They're going to get two spawns there. Oh, man. And Sage, very low health. Got to get to that dispenser. Don't drown, bro. Oh, God. Get to the dispenser, Sage. And with his other teammates there as well, that's just going to draw them in. Red team has already captured the point. Aren't going to be able to get, like, a respawn here. Uh, Etni does go down. Sarcasm. Uh, getting uh, some credit for that is Sage and Melonlord healing up to this level 2 dispenser. It's a standoff. 15 seconds on the clock, so there's going to have to be some action here shortly. Going to be forced into play here. 
Cappy Cool is going to get over back by the point with Deadeye. Essentially, that point goes down. Let's we'll see if they go for the, the capture here. This capture is reopened. They just need to capture it to win it. Not sure if they realize that. Okay, Deadly Deadeye does get on the point. And there we go. The capture to win it. It's probably a newer mechanic to these players. Probably the first time that blue team has perhaps uh, encountered that. But um, that's a mechanic to encourage aggression and to not have camping. Uh, camping. And in those 3v3 scenarios, that's the uh, easy solution for it. You have to capture or you have to attack within a minute. Uh, that's just how that goes. Bujin's getting into the pyro fight. Oh, the reserve uh, shooter. Reserve justice. Gosh, reserve shooter. I was right. Doubted myself. The reserve shooter doing some work for him. Is Captain Cool also getting uh, two kill with the sh regular shotgun there? Sarcasm using the Widowmaker. Like I said, there is ammo packs around, but... Wasn't really doing much damage there. Definitely going to need more ammo for that Widowmaker. Gets gunned down with the SMG. Cappy, meanwhile, with his shotgun, also gets gunned down by the SMG. Deadly Deadite. Going to go down point. Going to respawn to MK and Sage out here. MK. Any uh, kill that he gets here is going to count. There we go. In the long run, that's two. It's just him versus uh, three, though, now. Oh, that's a big snipe. Oh, trapped in a bad space right now. Gets out across. No, and taken down. Was a little bit of hope there for MK. And look at this. Score has flipped around 3-3. We're tied up 3-1 at the start here. Ladies and gentlemen, please let us know how you're enjoying this arena respawn in the chat here. Sound, sound off. I see Stag in there. I know he loves it. Players spawning out here. Medic Scout banned once again for this map. Probably do Arena Discovery next map. That's a fantastic map. We'll have to see what we do for map three here. Now, Melon Lord picks off Etni there. Cappy Cool working the engineer on the side. They do pick off MK. Capture going down though for blue though, so that's going to be respawns as Dane gets the capture. He doesn't get respawn though as uh, he goes down. Red might capture it here. They're thinking about it. Actually, yeah, Cappy tries to tow the point, which makes sense. You know, <clears throat> he can just park a sentry over here instead of them actually capturing it. You can't play too much footsie with it, though. You do have to actually sometimes capture it at some point. Cappy probably should just now. There we go. They, they do decide to get two respawns. GD5F does say, um, we're interesting with medics, and Casual says, uh, disagrees completely. Medic banned, was, medic was banned this map by a team, so it's definitely not a guarantee. 20 minute maps, and, uh, well, uh, next map we could have different bans, and, uh, actually that's the intention that we do. Uh, scout ban was, uh, I don't know, definitely makes a lot of sense. Scout is really, really, really strong. And there's a big combat class. Take that out of the equation. And uh, you uh, are forcing teams to play with other flexibility. Players have been switching off through a ton of different classes. Uh, next map is going to be Arena Discovery. Part of the thing, too, with this Arena Well map is there's not much health packs on it. Uh, most of the other maps that we prefer and that we use uh, do have some, some health on the sides. And uh, that makes a big difference if you are playing without Medic. Yeah, Arena Discovery is pretty fantastic. I'm sure that's what we're probably playing next. Sorry, just typing out a, a note to my uh, producer real quick. My other, my tournament organizer. Um. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit absent for that one. Looks like red team picking it up five three. Um, just making sure that we got our next maps figured out. We are planning to do three maps here. Um, we are going to be checking out. I think drop down is the uh, third map. Uh, we just want to make sure that's map that we want to play <coughs> uh, uh, for our event. That's going to be on Wednesday or th Thursday night. Dane starts things off with a headshot. He has switched off of Demo Man, and uh, there he goes. Gets another one. So they're getting a little bit uh, momentum here. We 
did try uh, Arena Sawmill. It was pretty fun. Bujin's definitely going to be in some trouble here. He's going to go for the uh, sneak cap. Should just pick out that escape plan. Oh, no. Taken out by the Dane SMG. So, 5-4, tight game here. Um, also, to just to clue you in, we got 6.30 left on the clock. If the clock runs out in the middle of a mat, uh, of a round, that round will uh, still uh, continue and end. Um, Arena Respawn is very, very new. Uh, the uh, pug in uh, invite level pug that we're going to have going on on Thursday, it's really going to be the first time that we're seeing this uh, format uh, be played in a super competitive uh, setting with, I mean, really, really good talent. So that, that'll be super interesting to see on Thursday night. I'm very excited about that. Now, uh, Dane and uh, the blue team having some issues, but Melanor does get a kill. Has to watch out for the soldier. Ooh, dodges the air shot coming at him. Red team is going to get a respawn there. Melanor coming in, though. Oh, no, why don't you just stay up there? Get the capture. Didn't want to be marked for death, I gave it. Gets trained. Uh-oh. Dane's got a tall mountain to climb here. Does get that nice shot, though. And has a, a dispenser back here. Yeah, I think that's going to be it, though. <laughs> yeah, check out the Arena Respawn Steam group. They're looking for uh, uh, community managers to uh, run games in different regions. 4-6, so blue team down two rounds. Still close enough to get back in here. Sarcasm with a simple rocket jump to get up top here. And it uh, looks like Dane gets sniped down first from Pete the Plumber. Getting the advantage there. Sarcasm taking a lot of uh, chip damage here. Thinking about jumping back up. Nowhere to run to though. Does get sniped down. Things getting pretty dire for blue team here. Melon Lord. Uh oh. Can he get in there? Can he get the angle? Oh no! Gets the swipe. It is sour, sour work. So there goes another round in favor of the red team. Yeah, check out uh, training.tf, uh, an awesome website. <clears throat> awesome website uh, features the uh, training wheels uh, method, or, or sorry, uh, training wheels websites have uh, <laughs> training airway as their key map. Sorry, I've been a long night of casting. Voice getting a little sore, too. Watching Dane come across here. Sage picks off uh, Cappy's sentry gun. Pete the Plumber getting a snipe on uh, MK. Big kill to start things off. Red a little bit banged up here. This Melanord gets uh, Pete while uh, Etni gets Sage. Etni sniped down, though. So things getting a little tight here. Uh, Dane. Oh, uh, Sarcasm was going for the capture here. Dane trying to pressure in. Melon Lord, oh no, does get Boo Jeans with a pistol, but can't get in on the point. Five, four, three, yes, Melon is a she. I represent for the ladies in TF2. Back on Pyro, I think she was doing better on Pyro than on Spy. And uh, Dane's still on Sniper. I mean, uh, Pete the Palmer's Sniper going pretty nasty. Dane snipes down Etni, though. Pete the Plumber just kind of stuck back there looking across, trying to trying to find Dane, trying to find somebody. Does get a look across on the Demo Man. Oh, then backstabbed by MK. It's going to be a, a nice pickup for Blue Team. Three minutes left. Currently, Millen does main Pyro, so that makes sense. Cappy trying to get out here. Mm, cleaned up. There is also a slight mechanic. You know that if you are... Um, if you are losing, you kind of can try to drag out rounds and um, head into corners. There are no weapon bans. Open whitelist. Class limit one. Medic and scout were banned for this particular map by these teams. Yeah, we want uh, no bans. We want things to be a little bit more closer in tune with how uh, Valve is running their game, how they're balancing their game. And, uh, you know, the class bans will deal with classes that are overly powerful with items that are a little bit too obnoxious. Um, item bans are certainly a route that we could maybe go down, but without an in-game, um, without a, a in, an in-game kind of system, it'd be tough to kind of handle some of those things. Um, we'll see. Maybe we'll do that down the line. Yeah, blue just running combat class 
And the sarcasm, sarcasm does have uh, gunboats, uh, black box, which will help. Deadly Deadeye in water here, trying to work this out. If he can't get out and somehow find the action here and uh, get on top of point, he'll do okay. But oh no, getting headshot. Now Sticky's coming in, gonna get gunned down. And uh, a minute thirty here. So here's the thing: they gotta they gotta finish uh, this this round in, within the minute thirty. And uh, that'll guarantee that they get the next round at least. And then they, if they win that, it'll be 8-8. Eight, eight, and we'll force an overtime round here. Wow. Blue clearing up shop here. And momentum could be swinging around. As Edney now in trouble. Nice pipe. See if he can get on the point. No. Has to battle a pyro. And uh-oh. It is 7-8 right now. And uh, this round could certainly be a decider. Um, 52 seconds. So, I mean, if if they uh, if Red Team wins this round and there's one more round, they'll have a two-round advantage. So it'll probably be just kind of a, a Tour of Paris type victory lap round. Uh, Melnors tries to get on the pyro right away. Coming, barraging uh, down. Barreling down, I guess that's what I was trying to say there. With the shotgun, that's a big important kill on Pete the Plumber uh, early. Dane also gets a snipe on Captain Cool. So this could go Blue's way, and they might actually be able to finish this in time to just kind of get the round going naturally here. Dane trying to get snipes out here. It's psyched out from going up top. Oh, Edney! Big, big, oh my god, big pipes. MK cloaked up. Uh oh, oh my god. The pistol, oh, three health! MK, what a play to force the golden cap round. Okay, hopefully they just uh, they know well enough to uh, do the golden cap round because that was pretty hype there uh, at the end. MK going big. <clears throat> hopefully, uh, let's let's see if we can just take a look at their yeah. Saying tiebreak, I think they just re need to re-exec um, and just ready up again to, to get it going. So yeah, it looks like looks like they're figuring it out. So we got one last round here <clears throat> um, on this uh, arena respawn. This is arena well and uh, scouts and uh, medic band here on this first map. And I think we're ready to ready up. Just one round. One round to decide it here, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> See what gets run here. Heavy is definitely out on the field. Uh, for red team, blue team, no heavy. Got MK on spy still here. Beat the plumber. Has been getting some early snipes here to start things out. He went down early last round. It was pretty kind of a key loss. It's gonna look across here. We'll we'll see some action. Oh, Pete the plumber stabbed down by MK early. Oh, early capture that gets him back up. We'll see if Blue can get some kills here. Oh, Blue Jeans, wow, reserve shooter as well. Oh my God, then takes some damage. Melon getting on the point. Should be able to get the spawn here. Pete the plumber has to get out here. No, is gonna go down. Blue team, wow, with the golden cap win. What? What a map. Wow. I don't know. They, they took that aggression there. Um, just the one. And then we can... Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't quite know if Kyle was paying enough attention. Uh, the players are still playing. Still moving forward. Um, but uh, they can change maps here now. As uh, you know, Blue Team did get that one round win. We could, uh, you know, do a little mechanic where, you know, we do it to five and then uh, do it to three rounds, I don't know, in the uh, overtime. Something like that. As a uh, red team takes it, ties that back up, but <clears throat> we're just doing the one round to cider there. <clears throat> uh, Dane is definitely a really good player for sure. <coughs> Dane brings some fire and uh, is a pretty beast demo man.
<clears throat> so we're gonna get another um, another map going here. Funny ending to that one there, and another round of uh, bands. Just need to get players switched over. There we go. Map is changed. <clears throat> 